Hey guys, so today we'll be doing how to get better at, at baseball, no. basketball. This is five tips on how to get better at basketball. Wait, is it really good? Yeah, no. okay. So, so first, if you're coming from the side, don't try to just do your best to try to get the ball away. You actually have to concentrate. So, I don't know if you see this. This is inside basketball. It probably will work with outside. You should yeah. see that square. One, aim for that square. Or if you're trying to do like a swish, like, nope. Like that? No, no, like, like, no, guys, look. Like that? I wouldn't recommend to try to do that because there's a good chance that it'll bounce out. <laughs> it's, fine, guys. it's okay. YouTube's right. fine. So now you walk it aim off. for that circle. And if it doesn't go in like that, then just try to get the ball. It's okay if it's a turnover. But okay, the next tip. So, tip two. Oh, oh God. God. Tip two. If you're like this and the opponent is blocking you, don't try to throw it up too high because it can hit the whoa. It can hit the ceiling and it can look. It can. You know, we're having some problems here. It can hit the ceiling and then it can go back to them. So don't just try to throw it up. Don't try to throw it up as high as you can because you'll miss. But what you want to do, don't try to get the ball away. First, what you want to do, you, you okay, say the Cristiano's going to be the opponent right now. No, no, you're going to stand right there. No, you have to come like really close, right? Yeah, there. Okay, so pretend like, okay, so for an example, let me carry you. Okay, no, come closer. Say I try to do it and now watch. He's going to be able to get it. Jump. Yeah, look, see, that'd be a turnover. Now, let me see. Okay, you can hold the phone out. Now, look, if he comes close he to you. He means camera. So, if he comes close to you. Nope. If the opponent gets really close to you, turn back, turn back. You see, there, okay, so he's pretty close to me right now. You should see that there's space down there. Yeah. So, look, you can see his feet. There's a lot of space down there. Now, turn around back here. You now, tell me look. So now you can move around. You actually have to kind of like run in slow mo. Run in slow mo. Run in slow mo. Now look. Now I can go down here, and when he tries to block it, I'm gonna be close enough. Ow! 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 Okay. And don't hurt yourself like yeah, I did. I'm clumsy. <laughs> can you hold this? And I'll be tripping. Oh, stumbling. Oh, tripping. Oh, stumbling. So you see that, and then you can just try to get it in like that. So. Also, if also if you try to make a shot, this is tip three. Tip three. If you three. make a shot like for, right here, try to get under it. So wait, any day now, wake me up when it gets in. Okay, so when it finally gets in, <laughs> try to get as close as you can to it, so that way you get the rebound, and then you can try to shoot, and you can try to make it. That's tip three. You have two more tips. And tip four. Yeah. All right. So if you want to get better at dunking, I, th I recommend you to have your ball a little li under inflated. So that way you can actually get better grip. Because look what happens when I try to dunk. The ball slips out of my hand. One, it's because it's greasy. But don't try to squeeze it. Look. Look, see, it kind of like gets out of your hand. Mm -hmm. So I recommend to get it a little underinflated, as you guys can see. It's kind of underinflated, but it's like overinflated, kind of. See, I can't really dunk. I can only dunk with two hands. If I can, if the ball would actually like me. See, I can only dunk with two hands, so I recommend it to get underinflated. Now the final step all times this shot yes first if you do the mechanicals of it i don't think you should try to do this aim if you do aim for wait let me see the ball since or the camera since i'm taller um i'm just gonna drop the ball i like nade people um aim for these three the either these three or, any, or these three. Or any three on the basketball hoop except for not the back one. Yeah, not the not these ones. So when you're coming from this perspective, as you can see, when you're right here, if you aim for those, look, it gets really close. If 
if you just keep repeating that, maybe in practice, then you eventually will get it in. But since I just got this three weeks ago, I haven't been playing with much because we've been busy playing and making videos for you guys. So hit that like button. And subscribe and hit those notification bells. Okay, so and yeah. Yeah, that's the, pretty much the last tip. If you have to, you can run up a little bit. If you don't think you can do it, then you can just do that. The ball's very un. Again, you also want it underflated. Because look, when it hits that, when it hits this thing, it like, it bounces out. Look, see? So mm -hmm. you kind of want it not, because the pressure of the ball, see, this is the rim. The rim, look. So say this is the way where it hit. Look, it'll go back here and it'll bounce back out to you. So with an underinflated look, it's just like skin hitting it. Yeah. So when it goes right here, it's a lot lighter too. So when it hits, then look. So when it hits right here, it doesn't like actually bounce because it's um underinflated. Now look. Now when you do that, no, actually, let's do it with the literal ball, littler ball. I don't know what happened to it. Okay, we'll just use this wiffle ball for an example. This is very light. Look what happens when we hit that. It'll bounce right back in. So yeah. I guess that was six tips. And but if you guys want more basketball videos, indoor basketball, it's like if you want Comment to down below in the notification bell. So, yeah, that's pretty that's much all. We will see you. And we will see you.